Because deep in the soul of Carl Schmidt has been planted the love of aggression and conquest. And unless that passion is uprooted, 10, 20, or 100 years hence, a new generation of Germans will find a new leader who will show them the way. How shall that be prevented? A sound beginning has been made. This time, things are being done differently. At the end of the last war, an armistice by negotiation. This time, unconditional surrender. Today, Carl Schmidt knows beyond the shadow of a doubt that he was defeated. At the end of the last war, German armies parading through Berlin. This time, The legend of German invincibility lies once and for all a shattered myth. After the last war, the German general staff continued to function. Today, not only the general staff, but the entire German officers' corps will be dissolved, and they will be forever prevented from plotting another German attempt at world conquest. After the last war, German industry was unimpaired. Today, much of it lies in ruins and such undamaged industrial plants as are permitted to operate will operate under allied control. After the last war, the same state officials remained in office. Today, any Nazi is forever barred from having authority. After the last war, the Kaiser found refuge in Holland, and anyone else who thought they were in any danger ran away. Today, proven war criminals must answer for their crimes. After the last war, German education was untouched. Today, all Nazi doctrine has been destroyed. New textbooks prepared for German youth under our direction, not the Germans. After the last war, this small area of Germany was occupied. Today, every square inch is under the authority of allied troops. At the end of the last war, this was the government of Germany. Today, this is the government. We have come to Germany not as liberators, but as conquerors. And this time we shall remain for 10 years, for 20, if necessary, forever. Carl Schmidt himself will determine how long. For we shall not leave until Carl Schmidt has come to realize that he himself is responsible for not only the past, but the future. We have rid him of Hitler, and the general staff, and Nazism, and militarism. But we have not rid him of Frederick, and Bismarck, and the Kaiser, of his history and his tradition. That he must do for himself. Until he does, he is still a potential enemy of civilization. Only when he does can he take his place in the society of man. Then and then only will the German farmer, the German mailman, the German cop be like the folks back home. Then and then only can beautiful Germany, industrious Germany, cultured Germany, join the peaceful nations of the world.